I'm Caitlin, and I'm a junior at North Platte High School. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, thank you. Thank you for knowing that from day one, I'm me, and for loving me despite and because. Thank you for open doors and open minds, for open mouth talks. Thank you for saying okay when I said I like girls too. Thank you for asking, do you like girls too? Thank you for saying too. Dear Grandma, thank you for letting the tears pour, for sitting in front of my house with me, for listening to the heartbreak in my voice. That night, my heart pounded, Grandma. I listened to the hate from the man who was no longer gay. I listened to how he overcame, but I didn't listen with my ears. I know who I am. My identity isn't changing, and that's OK. But the other kids don't know that, so I didn't listen with my ears. I listened with the ears of the unsure minds and unsure hearts, sitting in the same pews as I, hearing the same words. They don't know like I do, Grandma. They don't know that man was wrong. <laughs> they don't know that God understands, and he does not hate you for being you. I know that man was wrong, Grandma, so I don't cry for me, I cry for them. Thank you for letting me cry. Dear Nana, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm so afraid. I'm sorry if I, I've accepted that you might not ever see the entirety of me, and I'm sorry the entirety of me would break your heart. Dear boy, the one in the hallways who tears down the Gay Straight Alliance posters, I hope that someday you can learn to love without barriers. I hope that your kids will feel loved and like they are allowed to be themselves under your roof. Dear best friend, Thank you for holding my hand and cuddling on the couch and loving me without fear. You don't always come across straight girls who could love a queer girl without any judgment or concern. Dear love, I'm sorry I can't hold your hand in public. Dear unsure minds and unsure hearts, you don't have to define who you are with a label. You don't have to know what label fits yet. You don't have to hide who you are because you're afraid. You don't have to show who you are because you're afraid. Don't dim your light for anyone. Dear seventh grade me, it's OK that you want to hold her hand on the playground. And it's OK that you get so excited to play Minecraft with the girl with the galaxy shoes. Dear ninth grade me, you don't have to pick. Spoiler alert, it's not any easier to just tell them you're a lesbian. You're not. Show them who you really are. Dear future me, I hope that you are found a wonderful partner who loves you for you. Or I hope you're living a great life on your own. I hope you're dominating your job and showing the world that queer women are just as strong as straight men. Dear me, right now, you can be you without being embarrassed. Stop being ashamed. Someday you won't be just the gay kid, and you won't be afraid to write a poem about it. You won't be writing letters explaining your sexuality because it does not matter, because it does not define you. Someday, things will be easier. Just wait.